just starting up over here. Okay, the suggestion. All right. We're at the Best Western Hotel over here. They gave us another hotel. We're in North Bay. And I'm showing you the layout right now, okay? And this is our suite over here. The last place we stayed at had a nice cozy little fireplace. But that's a, what? It's Friday and it's about 12, going on 12.30. Uh, we're here in North Bay at the uh, Travel Lodge on Lake Shore. And I want to take this opportunity to thank the people here at the Travel Lodge for contributing a few rooms here for the uh, uh, Backstreet and Spice performers. Uh, they're performing here on uh, uh, tonight, uh, this afternoon. And I really want to take this opportunity to, to say thank you, Chris. And thank you uh, for giving us the rooms and, and continuing to be part of our uh, endeavors in, in battling the uh, critical shortage of organizational issues in Canada. Thank you. Premier will be uh, speaking with George. And let me get over here where I can show you where it's going to be held. This is going to be it right here. This is the room. And his little Brittany and her father. Um, did you bring any uh, signage or anything? Uh, did you bring any signage or posters or anything? You know something? I, uh, for, I, uh, I have a few of the uh, spice posters around. Okay, that would be fine. Okay. That would, you know, that kind of... Uh, Smile, Brittany. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> there she is, little Pretty princess. Sweet. And that's her father right there. So you had a good Christmas? This is my son, Jeffrey. Oh, yes. Can I stay over everybody? Do you want to shake hands? Can I give high five? <laughs> <laughs> that's all right. It's He's okay. uh, excited hmm. probably to see the uh, groups. Yeah. 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 yeah, see the groups and all that good stuff. And ice fishing and skiing. Yeah. 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 And he's skating. Hasn't been skating yet, have we? We shall have a drink though, eh?
well, um, as, as well as the National Registry. It's amazing how much politics, no offense, Mr. Harris, but that's why I'm here to help us with this, that and to help draw the course with the National, National Registry. Uh, national registries and, and uh, 
uh, mutual consent, uh, where there's an option available uh, for the recipient to meet the family if both desires are mutual. Uh, these are things that we need to really look at in, in this country and, and change uh, so that many more people can experience the uh, same benefits that uh, me and, and others have been experiencing. Uh, just to touch on my upcoming 500-day uh, track, uh, we're going to be uh, starting in May uh, of 2000, and we're going to be kicking it off in Toronto, and uh, I'll be walking for 500 days uh, straight, and it'll be for over 12,000 uh, kilometers that I'll be doing this walk, and we're going to be doing this in conjunction with hundreds of organizations, and we're also going to have a torch, and we're calling it the Torch of Light, that will be passed from one community to the next, and it will be passed through thousands of uh, hands. Uh, and that will be the families that have donated organs, people on the waiting list, uh, people that uh, have experienced a, a lot, that they love them waiting for organs, and politicians, and uh, all different walks of life will be uh, carrying this torch of light. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, so once again, I am very, very happy that the uh, Premier is here, and just to recount the story there a little bit. While I was in North Bay at that time, I wrote him a letter, and uh, uh, I, he did look at it and read it and, and respond it. And as a matter of fact, uh, I think it was in early uh, October that uh, uh, his office phoned me and, and asked me how I feel about being acknowledged in the throne speech. And I was just absolutely thrilled about that. Now, every day, at the end of the day, I, I hand in all my reports to my chairperson. At the end of that particular day, I couldn't hand him that, that report because I was told to keep it a secret until the throne speech. So I had this big secret inside me for a couple of weeks, but it was a very pleasant uh, secret. Uh, so once again, I really thank all the media for coming out there, uh, coming out here, and all the people that have participated. And uh, we are going to make this a uh, uh, much better country in, in the uh, respect of that there will be more organs donated uh, in the upcoming years. Thank you very much. I want to say how encouraging it is to see so many people uh, here, Jim. Uh, and the gang, of course, uh, from Backstreet, Spice and Brittany, and all of you coming together in support of this uh, very important cause. Uh, organ donations are making a difference in people's lives, and people from kidney machines, they're restoring sight, they're saving lives. And here in Ontario, we have the technology and we have the resources to save even more lives through transplant surgeries, but we need more people to come forward uh, as potential organ donors. Our province, and in particular our community, is full of generous and caring people. We respond to people in need, whether it's for organ donation or a bone marrow transplant or a blood drive. And if you just look at the way this whole city rallied around Julie Parada, uh, you, you get an example of that. In this excellent campaign to raise awareness, North Bay came through to support Julie through this challenging time in her young life. That experience proves that people want to help, but we still need to reach out and we need to let people know how they can help. And sadly, Canada's organ donation rate falls behind many other countries. More people need to hear what a difference they can make by simply signing an organ donor card, and most importantly, by discussing their wishes in advance with their family. And that's why I'm happy to see George working so hard to raise awareness. Like me, thousands of people across Ontario were inspired by George Marcello and the whole step-by-step -step team as he walked across the province. And that's why I invited George to join me in the legislature for the throne speech, our inaugural throne speech uh, this session. And uh, at the same time, as you, uh, as you know, uh, we uh, uh, announced the advisory committee to raise awareness uh, with George's help and uh, we asked Don Cherry to be uh, honorary chair of that uh, advisory committee and uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe he can appear on stage. He can sing. Have you ever heard of Don Cherry? Yeah. That sounds like uh, a Well, we're trying to leave no stone unturned here in how we can reach <coughs> just as many people as we can. Uh, George's Ontario Walk was an unqualified success, helping thousands of people to choose to sign. Uh, for organ donation, and I know he can do the same through the Cross Canada Walk. Uh, in closing, George, I, I believe I can speak for everyone here today and wishing you the best of luck as you embark uh, on your
your coast-to-coast -coast, uh, journey, and I can assure you, you have uh, my support and our government's support uh, and uh, any support that I can, uh, can bring. I'll be meeting, in fact, uh, with the premiers uh, from across the country early in February, and uh, I'll, uh, I'll enlist support from them so you have a friendly uh, uh, reception as you go from border to border uh, across this country. We all look forward here, too, to giving you another warm welcome uh, uh, as you come through North Bay again on your uh, cross campus. Because you've been here twice doesn't mean you can skip us, you know, on the cross Canada walk. Um, we committed in the throne speech to doubling uh, Ontario's uh, organ donor rate. We'd like to see that happen across Canada. I, I believe North Bay is ready to do its part. And if we can just spread out as a little pebble in a pond sprinkles out, uh, across that pond, if we can now spread uh, that feeling and enthusiasm that began this summer with Julie and with George uh, here, uh, I believe uh, that we can accomplish that goal. So thank you for being here for this uh, uh, important uh, day, and I hope everybody uh, enjoys the concert. Jeffrey's ready to sing and clap, I'm pretty sure. <laughs>